Hey guys, and welcome back to the Callisto Protocol. Now, um, there's a little bit of a fuck factor that has happened with my recordings. <clears throat> so this game was actually done and dusted for me about three weeks ago. <clears throat> so we're now on the 28th of December and I completed this game, I'm pretty sure, uh, towards the beginning or second week in to December, something like that, ages ago. Um, anyway, as I've come to upload the videos, for some reason, videos 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 have absolutely no audio. Um, they don't have any mic commentary, and they don't have any uh, game audio at all. I don't know why, <laughs> because they were parts of sets um, where some of the other videos recorded previously and after do have sound. So uh, I have no idea what's happened to those. So we're going to have to re-record them. Um, unfortunately, at this point, I have long finished this game. In fact, this recording session now was supposed to be me sitting down and recording and finishing Signalis because I literally have like I th probably one, maybe two videos left of that game. But we've got to go and redo this. I did consider cancelling this because uh, this is going to warp my schedule for recording a bit. But I don't know, man. We're so far into this now. It just seemed a little bit silly to cancel it. Um, and it... <laughs> It's only about it's only about three and a half hours of video lost. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, one of the things I will say is it's the shittest part of the game. Um, this game, in my opinion, starts off quite strong. It kind of gets a little bit dull in the big, uh, kind of in the midsection. And towards the later midsection, it's really dull. Um, we'll get into that. Oh, God, deja vu. We'll get into that um, as we get there. But there's a there's a couple of check, uh, chapters. Would you call them chapters? I guess they're chapters that I really, really, really strongly disliked. Um... <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna have to it's just uh, it's sod's law that it's that that's that's kind of missing but never mind that's that's what happens when um you do this recording malarkey sometimes things go wrong however it could be so much worse it could be so much worse um i actually caught this a couple of days ago when i went to edit them and it's taken me two and a bit days to re-download this game. Um, I went back through my um, my load games, my saves. Luckily, luckily, by the grace of the very gaming gods, there was um, a, what is it, Follow the Red Pipe. Man. Oh, it says 28th of December, I believe we actually completed this. Oh, no, no, that's today. Yeah, so uh, it's the 18th of December, I guess, that I actually finished this game. Um, which was 10 days, well, nearly yeah, 10 days ago. Feels like a lifetime ago. Uh, yeah, well, that was my final recording session for this game, I believe. Um, so, uh, luckily, I didn't have to start this game from the beginning because... If that was the case, I would have had to have cancelled it because I I just I don't have the time to go back and start the whole game again and play all the way through it. Um, and to be honest, this game kind of isn't good enough to warrant that. But because it's just the middle section, we're okay. Anyway, I managed to find an old save and play us back to where we need to be. Um, upgrades and things might be different. Come on, you little bastard. Now, there is one advantage of this malarkey happening and going on. I do get to replay the game with my new um, Corsair Virtuosa headset, which is so freaking pub. Warning. Warning. 
and oh my god you can hear like all the details of the footsteps and everything and um there have been significant gameplay improvements i can't remember if we'd already had those gameplay improvements up at that point so animations have been humongously sped up which is really nice Oh, is that all there was? Just three of them. So, for instance, when you heal yourself with the injector now, it's way faster. It's actually possible to heal yourself with the uh, needle now. Now, quick switching weapons is still a pain in the ass, but my freaking god, you could almost call it quick switching. Look how fast that is compared to what it used to be. If you need a refresher on what it used to be, if you go into your weapon inventory, you can still... That's what it used to be when you switched your weapons. Um, now, there's a boss a little bit later on in the game that was borderline, borderline impossible with how slow the weapon switching is. But man... Just that fact alone is so just it's a huge improvement. Now that's one thing I will give the development team of this game. They've listened to um, feedback and they have changed things, um, which you know is good. The performance of the game is better. Still not fantastic considering you know we're running this on a forty eighty, but you know. Whatever, I guess. Right, so that's tank six cleared. Yeah, I had one save. Luckily, one manual save. Before this point. Which, luckily, I could go back and replay. Uh, it took about, not that long, about 20 minutes to get back up to this point. So, that was acceptable. But, man. I, I don't know... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how it happened. Anyway, let's go. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, I don't think so, pal. Well, at least we're out of there. And we don't have the... Uh... Oh, there's so many things we don't have. Oh, my God. Nah, I like that. You can hear them just like bashing themselves against the uh, door there. It's pretty cool. Oof. Well, yeah. I'm guessing this is the sewer. You know, that funneled all of the uh, <coughs> material away from the... Ooh, nice. Away from the uh, prisoners... You know, and we've seen what's been expelled into those toilets. I'm sure it stinks. Yep, there is only one way forwards. Which makes things easy, admittedly. So, we can't get lost or fuck things up. Well, this is bad. I think Elias forgot to tell us that that was a temporary measure. Oh boy. Things are about to get a lot worse before they get better. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Okay, it's fine. Nope, this is, this. everything is fine. You're okay, Jacob. This is just all deja vu, mate. Deja vu, ow. Yep, that too. That's okay, that's okay. Ah. <sighs> Right, anything fast moving, at least you would hope... Ooh, look, there's blades there. Why would there be blades there? You would hope... Ooh, would be a quick death. Oh, look, we're in another nest. That's nice. Ooh, that was almost bad. Oh, save point, lovely. Oh, God, this is going to be uncomfortable for you, buddy. Yeah. 
Yeah. Now, I have a feeling, and I could be wrong, but I think you always have to get hit the first time. I don't know, though. It just seems... Oh, we got hit again. It seems very difficult to avoid these blades. Which is something I said before. Oh, man. It's rough that he's still, like, breathing after he's been sliced in half as well. He's just still alive. No instant... Oh, come on. I couldn't even move then. No instant death for Jacob. So, anyway, I hope everybody's had a fantastic holiday. A few days off work at least. I mean... Mine's been pretty good. It's been pretty busy. I've had my brother down. And as soon as I finish this, I have to go be his and his girlfriend's entertainment for the day. Which is going to be questionable. Poor them. Oh, God. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. This is fine. Oof. Oof. Uh, it's pitch black. This is, this is, uh, this is bad. Oh, boy. All right, we're in another nest. My God, how many nests are there? Right, this is this is not fun. This is not fun. I do not need your face in mine. Oh God, there's a stargate. There's a stargate. Oh hi, dude, give it up. It's not happening. Ah, oh, these things just do not quit at all, man. Right, let's get out of this hellhole, this like rat's nest. I mean, if they're kind of the rats that you're dealing with, you got problems. Now, one thing I will say. Is coming back to this game, I can really appreciate just the visuals of it again. I mean, I've been playing High on Life. High on Life is, uh, you know, I've been enjoying that, actually. I haven't played it for a little while now, but because of the Christmas festivities. But, yeah, I've been enjoying the hell out of that game. Ah, you bastard. This game... At least to start with, it really does have the same issue that Signalis has. The inventory situation. Now, um, a friend of mine actually sent me a mod to expand your inventory in Signalis. Which I was quite excited about. I looked into it, but it doesn't work on the Game Pass version. It only works on the GOG version and the Steam version. Um, and it increases your inventory slots from six to eight which isn't actually game breaking but man it'll give you some just some breathing room right let's have a little look at our inventory here okay we've got a lot of ammo and there's a medical syringe check this peep this healing animation now oh my god they've lit i think they've tripled the speed of it because you can use it in combat now, whereas you couldn't before. Like, I think there's a... No. Interesting. I thought there was a bug in there. So what weapons have we got loaded here? Probably start using this gun. Oh, the light! The light! Hello, motherfucker. Come on! Ooh, that looked like it hurt, sir. Yeah, that looked like it hurt. That really looked like it hurt. And I enjoyed that. Well. Can't have too much of a good thing now. Now, interestingly enough, when you use that, uh, like, power, I don't know what you call it, um, it only actually uses the energy if 
you uh, grab an enemy. Like, if you're throwing... Are you dead? Yeah, if you're throwing, like, prop objects and um, just picking up items, it has unlimited energy, I guess, for, like, gameplay reasons. Kind of seems a bit odd to me, but whatever. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come at me, fool. Whoop. Oh, he's had enough. He's done. There we go. Music stops so we know there's no more enemies. Now, I appreciate this uh, Kinesis module thing would actually be OP otherwise. And it absolutely freaking would be OP. So, where are we? Oh, yes. So, that's the way we want to go, but... We're going to go for the Brucey bonus stuff. The only problem is... The same problem that we always have here. And that is our inventory. It's just absolutely freaking jam-packed. Okay, so we've got some more ammo. Skunk gun. Ugh, inventory is literally constantly jam-packed. We'll have that... Stand up, man, for God's sakes. So, let's have a little look in these lockers. Oh, can't take the grip battery. We can take the credits, though. And the more credits. Right, we can't actually shift this with the griff. Uh, the griff? The grip gun, which is unfortunate. Alright, tight corridor passage. Yay, we love these tight little passages, don't we? That's what he said. I don't know if they sped these animations up. I can't really tell, which probably means they haven't. They really should have. Because, my god, man, crawling through these passages really sucks. It just does. Right, looks like our grip has taken ages to recharge. Yeah, I'm used to like fully powered up grip, man. Now, fully powered... Okay, the d there the door opened. <laughs> okay, only a few seconds delay there. Yeah, so the grip itself will become like your best friend in the world in this game. Um, it's really cool. There's another battery for it there, which we cannot grab. Because, of course, we can't grab it. Why would we be able to grab it? That would be silly. Yeah, if you can't tell, I absolutely hate the inventory system in this game. Pretty sure that was uh, probably one of my biggest complaints. Ooh, yum, yum. I'd forgotten about this bit. A lot of whispering. I don't know who's whispering to us. And there's something moving under here. But we're not going to worry about that just yet. And man, this game just like sounds fantastic with this headset. Now I'm pretty sure... Nope. thought there was a jumpy bug thing in there. Oof. This guy had a bad time. Poor bastard. Probably didn't even know what hit him. Just absolutely murderized. Oh, that's fine. Now this took me a little while to work out where we're supposed to go, but we can sliver our way through here. Now, better him than me, I'll be honest. He has taken the red tunnel here. Huh? That does lead us back out to where we need to be. Come on, Jacob. Get up and get your ass out. 
Now the thing is, because I kind of know the game now. Oh, here we go. Yep. You'll learn to hate these things. They don't really hurt you. But they do. Um, they, they, I don't know. They just interrupt the gameplay. Because there's only one particular area that I can think of. I need to take the cover off my keyboard. Oh, it's really impacting me now. I've got a protective cover on my keyboard that I leave on there. You can still use a keyboard with it on, but it's feels like a it's like a thick rubber membrane type thing. But it doesn't feel great to play games with. Now, what do we have there? Um, what should we drop? Uh, you know. We'll probably just drop the standard ammo, I guess. Yeah. Don't like dropping ammo in this game. I mean, it's it's not like it's not a big deal, to be honest, because you know you have so freaking much ammo in this game. Like it is everywhere. Um. So yeah, it's not the end of the world, but. It's still, like, painful experience to drop it. Right, okay. Let's keep going. Oh, God, that hitching. They still haven't cleared up all that hitching. Whoa. Yeah. Wasn't that something? Oh, yeah. That does look pretty sick. Not gonna lie. <laughs> well, oxygen processing. This place looks fun. Let's go. No time like the present. That reminds me of Dead Space, that does. Made it through. Copy. Loud and clear, bro. Good timing, too. I'm getting close. Good man. Yeah, I got eyes in the tram station. I'll meet you there. Not so far. See that building oxygen processing? There's a security station inside. You need to get there to lift the lockdown in the dump. Can't dock the tram until you do. I've been feeling you weren't telling me everything. Of course. Of course. Right, well, let's get a shifty on then, shall we? Now, this bit can be kind of rough. Because we got a little friendo over there. Now, the problem with this friendo is these guys basically, like, if they spot you, it's a one hit kill, game over. There's, like, nothing you can really do. Now, you don't have to kill them, is the cool thing about it. But, you want to kill them. Because, man, is it worth it. Also, what's kind of interesting here, is if you think about it, these things are really not that strong. Let's just go to oxygen processing a minute. I have a feeling there's a workbench in here. Yes. Yeah, he leaves his friend to die. That's pretty harsh. Okay, so Please make a selection. what we're going to do, we're going to sell you, sell you, and then we're going to go get our thing from the robot. I don't think these things ever, like, disappear, which is nice. Right, let's grab you a decoder. These things are worth, like, quite a pretty penny from what I can remember. Worth, like, 500 
<clears throat> yeah, 500. Which is a good chunk of change. Now, uh, we could get the boom bullets nearly... Actually, we probably could if we sold some things. But it's just not worth it. Um, the stability upgrade... Uh, I never got the swarming rounds. It's just prohibitively expensive. Um, that's all we've got. Oh, God. Okay. Right. Now, we can't quite afford damage level 2, which is a shame. Now, what I would actually recommend dumping your money into, believe it or not, is the stun baton and the grip. Because, man, like having this grip, like fully charged and ready at all times, is invaluable. But also, having the blocking counterattack, that is really really strong so let's buy that the gun upgrades obviously are good but they only carry you so far okay so I am very tempted to get that as well it um, enhances swing velocity by reducing yeah so it Basically lets you string together one extra hit. It's useful, but it's, you know, it, it's not, say, as useful as having the medium speed grip recharge. Which, now, the medium speed recharge isn't actually that much quicker than the basic small one. But it is better. Um, velocity upgrade is also nice. Because the trouble with our inventory system is you cannot rely on always being able to pick up a battery. You will find thousands of batteries, but you will almost never have space for one. So, let's upgrade our grip. Now, we've got... Like, oh, that leaves us with 400. In which case, we will upgrade that. Because why not? Now those security droids aren't actually that tough, are they? When you think about it. Okay. I will try to have a united day, whatever the hell that means. Alright. Oh look, there we go. A grip battery. Asking you'll receive, I suppose. Okay, let's start going because we need... We need somebody's voice to get through here. Oh, we got spikes on the walls. You know what that means. I know what that means. You know what that means. Come get it, you maggots. There we go. Is it just the one? It's never just the one. Come on, you need to go first. You can go second. Is that it? Alright. Yeah, those spitters. Ooh, God. They're always a priority target. That was a nice amount of money. 84 credits. You don't find, like, 84 credits often. All right, let's keep exploring. Ooh. Yeah, I have a feeling that I'm probably gonna get through here quicker. Really? Right, you're done. Let's grind you into a fine paste. Now, we probably do want to take that with us if we can. Because if nothing else, then money. Sweet, sweet money. Okay. Always forget what crouch is in this game. Like on PC games, crouch is either C. Oh, 
Ah. Or it's control. Interesting. Can we not go? Okay. I thought there was more to it this way. Maybe not. Nah, man, I'm sure. I'm sure there's more here. Yeah, there is. I was going to say, I'm calling horseshit. Right, we're on half an hour here, guys. So, we're going to drop down a new manual save. And I'm going to leave it there. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.